All right, guys, how's it going? So it's Trey right here. Um, I've gotten some really positive feedback on my last uh, video I made where I literally just cooked chicken and basically eight mile freestyled um, a complete life lesson that I've learned over the past couple of months of my life. Um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm Trey. You might go by Trey Z. I have an Instagram uh, at treyz.fitness if you're interested in following that where I don't make nearly as cool content, but you know, I've got some nice posing down, you know. I've, I've been hitting the back double by recently. That's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about for my life lesson uh, today while I make this delicious chicken that's actually like, I mean, you can, you can meal prep it and you can add whatever you want into it, honey, whatever seasoning you like. And yes, I wash my hands before I'm handling this chicken because I'm not disgusting and I don't want salmonella. Um, but no, I was kind of thinking, you know, I'd love to make another video. I'd love to catch the eyes of someone because a comment really stuck on my video. It was a uh, blah, blah, blah. If you care enough, you can go to my other video. It was like, I found you on my recommended. I actually really like you. You seem like a likable dude and I paid attention to your life lesson or whatnot. And I was like, that makes me so happy because I've been able to impact one person's life and the most important life in my eyes is everybody else's and that's what I've kind of grown accustomed to is uh, being a little bit more selfless. I was an only child, spoiled kid because of the harsh reality of I don't really have anybody to tend to. Everyone takes care of me because I'm the center of attention. Um, that didn't work out for long. I, I don't know how I survived through a Kind of like grade school, middle school, hell, even high school for the most part. Uh, with without being a complete bum with no friends, I really, I really don't. Uh, there's, I guess, there's something likable about me being a little bit of a narcissist in a bad way. Uh, being a good narcissist, of course, uh, is counterintuitive uh, vocally, obviously, but. There are such things, I would say so, because somebody that takes care of themselves will always learn to take care of others as well and just stick to themselves during their free time. Look at Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is very selfless, but all he does is focus on himself for the most part. And then he uses his skills and abilities that he um, develops during his old storyline arc, whatever you want to call it, to go and save countless lives. Anyways, enough with the comic book lore. Enough with everything. I saw that comment and I was like, you know what? I kind of have to make another video. And what am I going to make a video about? Well, I'm going to make a video about something that grows apparent in my life, obviously. And with how fastly I'm progressing in my life right now, it, it, it that's a bad and a good thing. I'm very scared, obviously, but I'm not afraid of it. I'm not going to run away from it. I know that it's bound to come either way, big changes in a young man's life. I was like, a disciplined and structured schedule is what I have going on right now. How do you get this newfound discipline all of a sudden? And it's true, I got a kick in the ass. I really did. Um, I have a couple of videos already, so I'm not gonna get too into my whole story because honestly, people go through, everybody goes through something. It's just all about how they react to it that ultimately decides the winners from the nobodies that don't get to help other people that may be facing the same thing or may just be facing a hard time in their life. Also. I'm kind of steaming right now. I've got turned on low for a reason. That's because I knew I was going to ramble on. Spray some cooking spray in this bad boy. I've got olive oil cooking spray. I used to use, a, I think, coconut oil. Really doesn't matter to me. Um, I've still gotten huge regardless. Hey, yeah, listen to that sizzle. You might be asking, Trey, why did you not season your meat before? I would say the same thing five minutes ago, but I just love talking to you guys, so I kind of just forgot. Anyways, you're going to salt it a bit. Now, what you want to do is pepper your chicken a bunch. Oh my god, you want to get that thing peppered. Because you're going to be flipping this, obviously. And the pepper's going to get everywhere. I'm going to hold off on my special seasoning, but you can pick whatever seasoning you want. See, look at that. I'm literally making a little... Hi there. I'm making a little chicken video and a lock lesson video. But yeah, discipline. Mastering something that you don't want to do. Mastering doing something every single day. Um, that has impacted my life probably the most out of anything. And I've gotten so many people to tell me in so many different ways what discipline is, how to do it, why it's important. But if I'm going to be honest, the one thing that stuck out to me the most is whenever I was in my first few days of basically 
questioning my entire existence after I'd kind of gone through a lot of legal trouble, a lot of anguish, heartbreak, and basically every single negative emotion I could feel, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a change. That was my first step into discipline, It's making that decision into, you know what, I want to change this, I don't want to be living like this, and I know that I can. I'm going to take that first step into the deep end, and I'm just going to go from there, I'm not going to look back. Later that day, I decided to go talk to somebody that I actually look up to, even though he may not have even known it. It was a uh, kind of, I'll give you a background on this guy. He was, you know, like ex-service. He's seen a lot of things happen over the course of like, you know, doing combat, doing raids, all of that. And I was like, this guy's probably a good guy to talk to. He's fairly successful. He seems to have shit down. And what I learned during that whole two hour conversation we had is that he really doesn't have shit down. But he knows how to deal with it. And I envied that. And I kept on questioning him. And he left me with one quote before I went. Uh, I think I was training chess that day. Training chess. And he gave me with one quote. It was from Winston Churchill. He said, if you're going through hell, keep going. I repeated that quote over and over and over again. Over and over and over. I don't know why I kept on repeating it. Maybe I just thought it was a badass quote and I didn't really get the meaning. Or maybe deep down, I was like, you know what? I'm going to use this. I'm going to be like Winston Churchill one day. I'm not saying I'm anywhere near him. I mean, I like listening to British rap a little bit, but that's, that's about all I have in common with Winston Churchill. Because I'm, I'm sure if he was alive today, he'd love British rap. I mean, no question. A lot of us Americans hate it, but it's, it's, it's very good. Now, the, that's another thing I like about my content. Sorry to ramble on, but rambling on is something I love about my content. I can just ramble on and people will just get that. The people that seek my content, the people that get recommended to them, it's for a reason. It's because I can ramble on. I like doing these raw, uncut videos where you can truly see my emotion, truly see not the, the pretty side of things, but the everything side of things. Because everyone's a flawed human being, and I really think that's the problem with social media that I actually don't uh, really help. I, mean, I post a lot of like misleading pictures with my physique dry just looks like this 99% of the time. Um, I mean, I just look like an average Joe. Anyways, I kept on repeating that, that, that Winston Churchill quote. I started going to my sobriety meetings, and that's where I learned about kind of acceptance, kind of trudging along. And as I'm learning about this, I'm realizing I'm just trudging along, just like these people said. Where's the end? I started questioning this for months. Where's the end? I cried about it. I, I did everything. I have videos in my drafts about me being uncertain about my future, whether I'm going to spend, you know, like a couple years of my life in a prison cell, probation, whatever. And I just kept going for some reason. It was the indomitable human spirit. And that was the word I was hearing a lot, the phrase I was hearing a lot, uh, right before I kind of realized it. And I started, I made a burner account on my TikTok, actually. It was a, it was funny. I made a burner account for discipline, for, for workout content, for motivational speeches, because I was still running off of motivation, not discipline at the time. I was motivated to prove people wrong, to be the best version of myself whenever I, I had to trudge up some court stairs or whatever. I don't know. It didn't make sense. But I made this account and I started, you know, finding some like, Oh, I forgot who it was because the, the content switches every two weeks. I mean, one day you'll be seeing Tom Platts and then you'll be seeing Lee Priest. Those are bodybuilders, by the way. But everything alternates. And I saw a bunch of quotes about discipline. I have them saved like, you know, 500 videos away on my uh, saved videos on that account. And it kind of just clicked for me. I was like, holy shit. This is what I've been doing. I've been building discipline. And if I looked at Anywhere in my like report cards, anything in grade school, elementary school, whatever the fuck you want to call it, everything said I lacked discipline. Uh, maybe I was a smart child. I, I think I was. I mean, people people said it. Believe me, I'm I'm not fooling around with y'all. But everything said I lacked discipline. I was like, oops, sorry, I got chicken there. I really didn't know what it meant. I thought it was just being obedient to authority. And I was like, screw the authority, I'm going to Chinese middle finger y'all and trudge my way along in a negative way. Once I started developing this discipline though and I started realizing, I was like, this is what I've been missing all my life. I've been so happy and I didn't even know why I was happy. Obviously I could attribute it to getting close with my family, to 
being 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 drug free for a while, you know, all these different things. But it's all a byproduct of being disciplined. When you're disciplined, sure you might have a busy schedule, but you have shit straight. Sure you might be 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 anxious, be anxious. Uh, sure you might be uncertain of your future, but you're going to keep trudging along and doing your best at it. And like Greg Plitt said, there is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. I truly believe that. If you're a disciplined individual, you're going to attempt your best to exert the most of your positive effort into an activity, to a skill, to anything, to ensure that you are trying your best because it's so satisfying to a disciplined individual. Also, I sprinkled a little bit of this wood-fired garlic on there. This is my go-to for any sort of poultry, any sort of, even, even red meats, it, it goes really well. Um, our chicken's just about done here. So I'm going to let it simmer down right now. I'm going to basically kind of close. Anyways, so I'm just, uh, discipline changed my life. It really did. And kind of what I want to leave y'all with is to explore the own, your own ways that you've been disciplined over your life and how you've been undisciplined. I, th I think that's the word. Once you figure that shit out, all it takes is a little spark to change your whole entire life, to change your whole structure, your whole schedule. You can be whatever you want to be. Whenever you have discipline, that's where it's like, fly me to the moon. I can do anything I please. Because you know that if you're disciplined, you can have a structured schedule with um, social, family, work, whatever type of life, all spaced apart in a unique way to you that is easy to handle. With discipline, you are able to know what you're going to do, how you're going to get there, and how far you need to walk. And even if you can't see the end of the tunnel, you're still going to walk that far because you know that eventually you'll make it. Discipline is a way of life that will change you regardless because you will trudge through something and you will finally get past the point that 99% of people will never, ever even see. That's the beauty of it. And so if I want to leave you with a closing message with love, mwah, and let me show you all my chicken real quick, just to show you all that it is, in fact, very good, very seasoned. So just do your best. If you do your best and you are the hardest worker that you can be, that's discipline in itself. If you, are, if you are disciplined to the point where you that's all you live and breathe, you can still have a fun life. You don't have to be a drill sergeant, an army private. You don't have to be that type of person. When you're disciplined, you can have more free time to yourself. And your time is your money, your money, your wealth. Your, all your time on this earth is for you. And you cannot ever forget that. And when you have discipline and other types of skills I'm going to talk about later, you'll be able to get the fullest out of your life you could imagine. And so with that, I'm going to close. And it's with love, Tracy.